we look back in the history of the sport in 2014 when uh, women's bodybuilding was dropped. Um, you know, a lot of people will say the reason that occurred is that the women started looking too masculine. Um, when we say that, we're not talking about musculature, we're talking about virilization, right? Um, getting masculine features. And I'm afraid we're headed that way again. I'm seeing it with the younger girls. Um, you know, quite frankly, this is a long-term sport. There's longevity. It takes years and years and years to build the mass that we need to be competitive at the professional level, um, unless you do a ridiculous amount of drugs. And unfortunately, there's side effects with doing that. You can do it safely, conservatively, and appropriately, and gain that muscle over a longer period of time and still look like a woman, right? We don't get square jaws. We don't develop these male features. But it's happening again. And I'm afraid it'll be the demise of the sport again, you know, because quite frankly, nobody wants to see a woman who looks masculine on stage. They want to see beautiful women with muscle. Um, and I think that's what saved the sport. And the girls in, you know, that were competing in 2014 and 15 were very aware of what happened. And they really made an effort to change that trend in the sport. 